Okay, in this super quick video, we're going to have a look at the Netgear N300 Wi-Fi extender, how we reset it and how we configure it for our Wi-Fi network. Let me just go ahead and put get my uh, phone SIM tool and I'm just going to go and put it in the base of this device here where it says factory reset. I'm going to put it in and hold it on the device until the power flashes amber. Three, four, there we go, it's flashing already. The Wi Fi extender will reset, and then on my endpoint, we'll be able to see the Netgear underscore EXT Wi Fi SSID, and we'll be able to go and configure it. Let's pause the video while we wait for that Wi Fi to come up. Okay, so we have reset the Netgear Wi Fi extender. If I go over here on my device and click on the Wi-Fi here, I will now see a Netgear underscore EXT. This is the device we're now going to select and connect to via the Wi-Fi on my endpoint, my MacBook. Let's go and connect to that now. Automatically, the Netgear extender setup page has popped up already. Uh, if that doesn't work, you can also browse to mywifiext.com here. So you can see the, the address down here. So now let's click on the new extender setup. On this page, we can go ahead and create an account. And this is basically the extender's admin credentials. For example, if we click here, choose a password for your extender's setting, settings pages. So let's just type and we'll put the password as whatever we deem most secure. And then of course you can have a, uh, a password reset question or questions. So let's have a look here. I'm going to select what city were you born and the answer is city. Again, obviously, I would put in my own normal question or answer to that. And give sister's first name, and I'm going to put sister as the answer to that question. Either way, those questions are configured so we can reset the password should we need to later. Happy with that configuration. I'm going to click next. I'm going to change the region of where I am configuring this device. And now it's going to go and find an ex the existing networks that we would simply like to extend. Here is our home 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. I'm going to click next. And I'm going to type in the password for this Wi-Fi network or device. Now that I've typed the password, I'm going to select or click next and it will apply the settings and effectively extend the network. It's worth noting that as this is not a mesh extender network, you cannot use the same SSID name as the base device. So that's why it's adding the underscore EXT. So effectively, when you're in range of this device, you need to select this specific Wi-Fi network on your laptop or phone or whatever it happens to be that you're using. So at this point, I'm happy with that configuration. I want it to use the same, the existing network password. That's great. I'm going to click Next. I'll wait for it to apply those settings. If I now go back to my Wi-Fi on my endpoint and I click other networks, here it is here. Here is my home Wi-Fi name. This is my downstairs Wi-Fi. And here is the extender Wi-Fi network or Wi-Fi SSID. I'm simply going to select that. And conveniently, it's using the same password as the one downstairs, but I still need to type that in. Now that I've typed the password, I'm going to click join. I'm going to wait for that Wi-Fi to connect, which it has, and then I'm going to go and test it by browsing to the internet. And here you can see I am on the internet and I can get to various websites. The Amazon web page, for example, and Google. 
So that's it for this super quick video on how to extend your Wi-Fi network using the Netgear N300 Wi-Fi extender.